Though tiny in size, these little creatures make a big impression. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 smallest animals in the world. They're so personable, they don't get big. Eight inches is about the biggest adults I have. For this list, we're looking at some of the most impressively tiny animals our wild and wonderful world has to offer. For the sake of diversity, we'll be looking at the smallest examples of animals from a wide variety of species and ranking them based on the impression that their small stature makes when compared to their peers. Number 10, the bumblebee bat, also known as Kitty's hognosed bat. Australia is home to around 90 species of bat, with the majority of these being micro bats or little bats. Cute isn't the first word that comes to mind for most people when they think of bats. Nuisance, vampire, creepy, and eek, it's in my hair are far more likely candidates. But this itty bitty little bat is small enough to make even the biggest of chiroptophobia sufferers reconsider. There are over 1,200 species of bats all around the world, but the bumblebee bat is the smallest. And the cutest. I want one. Also known as Kitty's hog nosed bat, it's not only the smallest bat species known to man, but quite possibly the smallest mammal on Earth. And to be honest, most people don't even know they exist. They're only 1.1 to 1.3 inches in length when full grown, and weigh in at a modest 2 grams. Sadly, due to habitat loss, they're classified as vulnerable. Time to stick up for the little guy. What you might have once thought was a large moth fluttering around a lamppost might just be one of these amazing little creatures. Number 9. The Brookesia Micra Chameleon The Brookesia are quite unlike any other chameleons, and not just in terms of size. Considered one of the smallest reptiles in the world, the Brookesia Micra is one seriously tiny bug-eyed critter. This strange new species, named Brookesia Micra, is a fraction of the size of its flashy cousins. When full grown from nose to tail tip, they top out at 1.2 inches in length. When they're young, they can comfortably rest on the tip of a match head. How's that for putting their size in perspective? It measures just 29 millimeters, and this is a fully grown adult. Discovered sometime in the early 21st century, they've so far only been seen on a tiny islet of northern Madagascar, known as Nusihara. Scientists were exploring the furthest fringes of Madagascar when they discovered this, a tiny chameleon and the world's smallest reptile. Should you ever visit this uninhabited piece of land, watch your step, as these little chameleons stay close to the ground during the daytime. While other species live in the trees, they prefer the dead leaves of the jungle floor. Number 8. The Virgin Islands Dwarf Gecko, or Sphero. Here's another tiny reptile with a limited habitat to match. In terms of size, this little gecko manages to beat out our aforementioned chameleon by a few tenths of an inch and weighs in at a negligible 0.15 grams. In terms of a place to call home, these geckos have only ever been spotted on three of the Virgin Islands, Tortola, Virgin Gorda, and Sir Richard Branson's Mosquito Island. Discovered in the mid-1960s, this little gecko's size makes it easy to miss, but should you spot one, any gecko enthusiast is sure to appreciate its distinct color and atypical scaling. As you can tell, the colors on this guy is pretty intense. Number 7. The Pygmy Possum You've probably had possums in or on your roof, great big things thumping around. So it's hard to imagine that you could hold one in your hands. Reptiles and bats aren't your thing? So be it. But we guarantee that these little marsupials will have you cooing and looking to adopt. It's one of the pygmy possums, and an absolutely beautiful creature, no bigger than a mouse. We currently know of five living pygmy possum species, and a number of others that have since gone extinct. These remaining species can be found spread across parts of Australia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, and weigh anywhere between 10 and 50 grams, with a length of 2 to 4.7 inches. Each species has something unique to separate them from their peers, be it a long tail or, in the case of the western pygmy possum, a tongue that's absurdly long for its small size. The thing that would really threaten them is if we clear too many of our forests away and they lose the sort of place that they live in. Number 6. The Pita Cypress Fish there may be plenty of fish in the sea, but out of the over 28,000 species, there are none smaller than this little Southeast Asian creature. When you're talking about a fish this tiny, even the degree to which they can vary in size is minuscule. The smallest Pita Cypress ever recorded measured 0.31 inches. The largest ever found, just over 0.4 inches. Because of their itty-bitty size and slim, translucent bodies, they're often mistaken for juvenile fish of other species by untrained observers. 
No need to worry about the safety of such tiny fish in that big ocean, though, as they actually live in peat swamps. Number 5. The Barbados Thread Snake, also known as Leptotiflops carly. Look at that. Do you know what that is? Whoa, it looks like a giant earthworm. It is actually an amphibian. If it looks like a worm and moves like a worm, surely it must be a worm. Well, not necessarily. This tiny snake, a member of the Leptotiflopidae family, can be found on the island of Barbados. So the next time you see a dark-looking worm while you're in the Caribbean, maybe take a closer look. You could spend months digging in the jungle and you literally have to be in the right place at the right time to come across one. Leptotiflopidae is a serpent family consisting of some 87 species, but it's the L. carly, at four inches in length, that's considered the smallest snake in the world. Now, they do get quite a bit bigger than this, and there are some species that can grow up to almost four feet in length, and then of course there are some that are smaller that are only a few inches. As for thickness, well, there's a reason they're called thread snakes. They're very slim, referred to as, quote, about as wide as a spaghetti noodle. Adding to the wormy confusion, they tend to burrow in search of their primary food source, insects. This is one of the most incredible fossorial creatures that we could have possibly come across. Number four, Denise's pygmy seahorse, also known as Hippocampus Denise. Notice anything? Maybe Waldo? A seahorse, perhaps? As if your run-of-the-mill seahorse wasn't already whimsical, awe-inspiring, and adorable enough. Ah, there. That's the incredible pygmy seahorse, a true master of camouflage. Allow us to introduce you to this little wonder creature of the sea, which is sure to make anyone jealous of Denise Tackett, after whom the species has been named. Long thought to be the young of other seahorse species due to their minuscule size and underdeveloped physical characteristics, Hippocampus Denise was only officially discovered in 2003. Our knowledge of them is limited, but these tiny little seahorses seem to top out at 0.94 inches and reportedly spend the entirety of their lives on a single piece of coral, into which they blend almost seamlessly. A pygmy seahorse is born black and only changes to match its surroundings when it lands on the coral. Number three, the Pitafrian amawensis. There are two really difficult components of dealing with this frog that we're describing, the smallest vertebrate in the world. Space exploration is great and all, but as this list proves, there's still plenty for us to discover right here on Earth. Yet another example? This little frog that only came to the attention of the scientific community in 2009. It's really, really small, um, thus really difficult to actually collect and see, especially at night. Upon making itself known to the world, it actually stole the title from our aforementioned Pitacypris fish as the smallest vertebrate on Earth. Considering it measures just 0.3 inches in length at maturity, it's little wonder that it took us so long to notice. In addition to their uniquely tiny size, they're also remarkable due to the fact that they hatch fully formed, leapfrogging the tadpole phase of development most frogs undergo. Number two, the pygmy jerboa, also known as the Baluchistan pygmy jerboa. The jerboa you can sort of think of as a furry little rodent version of a Tyrannosaurus rex. What a cutie. Also known as the dwarf three-toed jerboa, this little critter looks like the world's most adorable cartoon rodent brought to life to melt hearts. They are capable of jumping three feet straight up in the air. They're very springy. Interested in world peace? Give each man, woman, and child one of these, and everyone will just stay home cuddling them. All day, every day. Wait, why are we here again? Right, small. This thing is seriously tiny, measuring just 1.7 inches without the tail. It's tied with the African pygmy mouse for the title of smallest rodent. Found in Pakistan, they get around by hopping on their hind legs like a kangaroo. You know, because adorable. Because of this tail that they have, which is also really, really long, the Kazakh people living in northern China call them Loming Tuk Tuk which is translated to noodle hop hop. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Yeah, they're cute, but the thing that shocked Anthony the most is their super strength. I think the only smaller mammal is uh, that little bat. The little bat, that's right. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Octopus Wolfie, also known as the Star Sucker Pygmy Octopus. 
Have you been reduced to a puddle on the floor after learning about the pygmy jerboa? Well, don't bother pulling yourself together just yet, because this little sea creature is not going to make things any easier on you. Octopus Wolfie is the smallest octopus species known to mankind. Weighing in at less than one gram and measuring less than an inch, it can be found in the shallow waters of the Western Pacific Ocean. Like a cute kid, their small stature makes pretty much everything they do endearing, be it hunting tiny sea creatures or escaping fish tanks, which they are apparently notoriously good at. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.